what is hepatitis b hepatitis means inflammation of the liver hepatitis b is a virus that gets into your body and attacks your liver hepatitis b is a serious and common infectious disease of the liver affecting millions of people throughout the world Hepatitis B can be either acute or chronic. Acute hepatitis B is a short-term illness which can last up to 6 months after exposure. Acute hepatitis B can be converted into chronic hepatitis B which is a long-term illness. Chronic hepatitis B can culminate into complications like cirrhosis of liver and liver cancer. Hepatitis B virus infected patients can also uh, remain as carriers worldwide 400 million cases of hepatitis B virus carriers are there 75% of them are from Asia and 4% of them that is 36 million carriers are from India the carry rate in hospital staff in India is around 10.87 percentage all healthcare institution should ensure that healthcare personnel should receive training to recognize and report exposures have system in place to facilitate reporting and post exposure assessment and have prophylaxis readily accessible for timely administration The knowledge and attitude of healthcare workers particularly regarding hepatitis B and safety and efficacy of hepatitis B vaccine have a major impact on their decision to accept or reject vaccination. How can you get hepatitis B? Hepatitis B can be transmitted by exposure to contaminated blood or body fluids, sharing needle and syringes or surgical instruments. It can also transmitted by tattooing. sexual transmission mother to child transmission during pregnancy and biomedical waste handling are other other routes what are the ways by which hepatitis b does not spread hepatitis b does not spread by hugging kissing touching holding or shaking hands it does not transmit by fecal oral route water or food prepared by infected person or sharing or eating utensils it does not transmit by coughing or sneezing or with breastfeeding what is the average incubation period of hepatitis b it is around 60 to 90 days which can range from 6 weeks to 6 months does acute hepatitis b causes symptoms hepatitis b is a silent killer most people do not have any symptoms until it is too late Although majority of adults develop symptoms from acute hepatitis B virus infection, many young children do not. Adults and children over the age of 5 years are more likely to have symptoms. 70% of adults will develop symptoms from the infection. What are the symptoms of acute hepatitis B? Early symptoms are same as cold and flu like fever, running nose and cough. Common symptoms include fatigue, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain. jaundice which is yellow color in skin or eyes also manifested as dark urine or clay colored feces joint pain or other symptoms how will you know if you have hepatitis b talk to your physician since many people with hepatitis b do not have symptoms doctor diagnose the disease by one or more blood test this test look for the presence of antibodies or antigens and can help determine whether you have acute or chronic infection have recovered from infection or you are immune to hepatitis b or you could benefit from vaccination what are the various tests for hepatitis b diagnosis first test is hepatitis b surface antigen to detect presence of infection hbc igm to detect the acute infection hbe antigen to detect high infectivity of viral infections Hepatitis B virus DNA PCR to detect again high infectivity and hepatitis B surface immunoglobulin G to check immune response if positive it indicates recovery and immunity. What are the preventive measures for hepatitis B? Hepatitis B vaccine is the best preventive measure. Other measures are screening of blood and blood components. infection control precautions changing disposable gloves during blood collection using new syringe each time before drawing blood which chemical disinfectant is to be used to clean the spillage of blood contaminated with hepatitis b virus sodium hypochlorite 
Is it necessary for a health worker to get screened for hepatitis B? Yes. Is it necessary for a healthcare worker to receive hepatitis B vaccine? Yes. Can hepatitis B vaccine be given during pregnancy or lactation? Yes. Hepatitis B vaccine contains no live virus, so neither pregnancy nor lactation should be considered as a contraindication to vaccination of women. Can you get hepatitis B via vaccine? No. Hepatitis B vaccine is safe. What is the effectiveness of hepatitis B vaccine? Vaccine is more than 90% protective against hepatitis B infection. What is the hepatitis B vaccine schedule? It is given in three doses at zero, one, and six months. How long does the protection from hepatitis B vaccine last? Immunological memory remains intact for more than 10 years among healthy vaccinated individuals who initiated full hepatitis B vaccination more than 6 months of age. The vaccine confers long-term protection against clinical illness and chronic hepatitis B virus infection. Should immunity status be checked after completing the vaccine series? Yes. Post-vaccination testing is done to check the immunity status. When should post-vaccination testing be done? It is usually done after one to two months after completion of three or more doses of hepatitis B vaccine. Which test is done post-vaccination? Hepatitis B surface antibody test. It measures the level of antibody against HBS antigen induced after vaccination. What is the minimum protective HBS antibody level? Anti-HBS titer 10 or more M international unit per ml is considered a correlate of vaccine induced protection for person who have completed an approved vaccination series. Are booster doses of hepatitis B vaccine necessary? Yes, but for hemodialysis patient, people with weakened immune system or anti-HBS titer level below 100 international unit per ml. What will you do if you think that you have been exposed to hepatitis B or have symptoms of hepatitis B? Don't panic. Go to healthcare facility and contact physician as soon as possible. After exposure to contagious material, does the vaccine reduce the chances of being hepatitis B virus positive? Is there any benefit in vaccinating a person who has already been infected with hepatitis B virus? Yes. For exposed healthcare personnel thought to be susceptible to hepatitis B virus infection, hepatitis B immunoglobulin and hepatitis B vaccine should be administered as soon as possible after an exposure when indicated. Thank you.